a gracious good afternoon once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, back at you with another episode of Ever Norton's fantastic history vlog. This is episode 19, and today is April 16, 2020. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping before we get started with today's events. Don't forget, this Saturday morning, we will be live vlogging on Facebook at 5 a.m. as a commemoration of the great San Francisco earthquake and fire of 1906. Tune in on the Facebook channel for Emperor Norton's fantastic San Francisco time machine. And we will be posting it on social media as well as here on the YouTube later on that day. So make sure to tune in for that. Uh, if you want to get up that early, we will be because we don't want to let a historic event like this pass by the 114th anniversary. Um, also, we've been noticing a decline in viewership the last few days. This makes us very sad. So please share these vlogs widely with your friends and acquaintances or anybody else who simply wants to be entertained in these difficult times. Maybe learn a little bit about history. It was on this date in 1990 that the San Francisco Board of Supervisors voted 6-5 to five to tear down the Embarcadero Freeway, that terrible eyesore that cut off the waterfront the rest of the city. The demolition began on February 27, 1991. Now, we have to admit that we are slightly responsible for that freeway, um, regretfully. It was in our proclamation of 1872. We said the following is decreed in order to be carried into execution as soon as is convenient. The suspension bridge be built from Oakland Point to Goat Island and thence to Telegraph Hill, provided such bridge can be built without injury to the navigable waters of the Bay of San Francisco. Well, when the Embarcadero Freeway was up, it did run to the base of Telegraph Hill down Broadway Street. We're not sad to see it go. I don't think anybody is really. It was on this date in the year 73 that Masada, the Jewish fortress, fell to Romans after several months of a siege ending the Jewish revolt. If you've never been there, it's a very moving place to be. 1705, Queen Anne of England knighted Isaac Newton at Trinity College in Cambridge. 1912, or oh, the notes are getting away from us here. It's a little windy here in San Francisco today. Uh, Harriet Quimby, on this date in 1912, became the first woman to pilot across the English Channel. And another woman who broke a record today in 1922, Annie Oakley, uh, set the women's record by breaking 100 clay targets in a row. That's pretty incredible. In 1935, this is the first broadcast of the popular radio show Fibber McGee and Molly. 1947 was the first time the zoom lens was demonstrated, which people use, overuse now. And on 1962, on this day, was the first broadcast of the CBS Evening News, hosted by Walter Cronkite, the most trusted man in America at one time. We'll come back to him at the end with today's trivia question. 1972, on this day, the two giant pandas, Ling Ling and Xing Xing, arrived from China to be in the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. Uh, this date in 2017, a world record was set of Charlie Chaplin and lookalikes, 662. This was done in Switzerland. Reason being, today is Charlie Chaplin's birthday. Born on this day in 1889. Other significant birthdays today include Wilbur Wright, one of the Wright brothers, uh, aviators, in 1912, he died in an accident. Uh, Spike Milligan, the famous British comic, inspiration for the likes of Peter Sellers and Monty Python's Flying Circus and such. Well, it's his birthday today, 1918. He was born in India, believe it or not. Uh, Peter Ustinov, the famous British actor, author, and journalist, comedian, and broadcaster, born this day in 1921. Henry Mancini, the American composer, uh, theme to the Pink Panther, among his more famous compositions. He was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1924. Dusty Springfield, the beloved singer. She was born on this day in 1939, as was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and the famous singer Selena, who died so tragically. 
Uh, deaths today include Jacques Cassini, the famous astronomer, and of course the namesake of the satellite to Saturn. Madame Tussaud, first name was Marie. Uh, she was born this day in 1850. Cassini, by the way, was 1756. And last but not least, the comedian, magician, TV star, Harry Anderson. Harry, is this your card? Well, that just about wraps it up for today. Don't forget to tune in for, on Saturday. Trivia question for today. What was Walter Cronkite's tagline that he said at the end of every broadcast of the CBS Evening News until his retirement in 1981? Well, that's it for today for sure. Stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you again. Have a great day, everyone.